Hey guys, Nehi Trackside here and welcome to a new Battlefield video. As obvious as it may be, we're going to be talking about the new Battlefield game which is due for release in October of this year, 2018, which is about 5-6 to six months time. It's not long considering it's been a year and a half since Battlefield 1 was released and it's only another 5-6 months till the next Battlefield will be released. It hasn't been announced what details we can be expecting in the game. But there's been strongly linked rumours, according to VentureBeat.com and a few other YouTubers, what type of Battlefield game we're going to be getting and should be expecting. According to these rumours, it's going to be a World War II based game, which is going to be called Battlefield 5. If you don't know your Roman numericals, it's going to be called Battlefield V, which V is 5 in these Roman numericals. Actually, if you didn't know that, go down below and hit the like button and hit subscribe, because you just learnt something new. And you can thank me for that by doing that. Apparently, Battlefield's going into squad-based strategy now. It seems like they're going to be trying to get themselves into eSports or become more competitive for players. Which kind of makes sense when you think of the success of Rainbow Six Siege is having Counter-Strike Source, Dota, Call of Duty, all these games are blown up in eSports and Battlefield might want to compete with that. But hopefully they'll keep these large-scale Battlefields because... I love going on a battlefield and just having fun and just 60 players causing a lot of mayhem and just <laughs> everything blowing up left, right and centre and you just go on and you just have fun. But also at times I feel like I want to play battlefield and I want to win. And maybe that's what they're trying to do. Maybe they're trying to win the Wii Sports and make it more competitive for players instead of a more of a casual game. But if they play the cards right and keep these large scale battlefields in but also have separate game modes or separate... Well, yeah, game mode, so smaller maps for operations, rush, conquest, team deathmatch, and maybe just 5v5, narrow it down. Maybe they could enter eSports themselves, and that's, maybe that's what they're trying to do, while trying to keep this casual gameplay, where you can just go on and 30v30 on conquest and having an absolute blast. Alongside the squad-based strategy game modes, we are to be expecting some sort of cooperative play as well. Whether this might be zombies, terrorist hunt, or some sort of campaign cooperative game mode where you and a few friends jump on and you can play the campaign story together. We do not know as of yet. But I'm sure we'll find out shortly because there's some gaming conventions coming up and it's not long until the new Battlefield game is due out. So they will be giving out information very shortly, which will update you guys. If you subscribe down below, I'll be releasing videos on the Battlefield games and Rainbow Six Siege. And I'll also be keeping you up to date on what we are expecting for this new Battlefield game. But I am really excited for this new one coming out. If the rumours are true, and I like my World War 2 games, but I also like Modern Warfare as well. But So that doesn't really bother me as such. But if we can have these squad-based strategy game modes, and these can tie in well, with the casual gameplay, with the large-scale battlefields, where you can have the best of both worlds, something that sometimes you might want to go in and think, oh, I just want to laugh with my friends and see what happens. But other times you think, oh, do you know what, I really want to kill, I want to like win. I really want to kill these enemies, I don't want to win. And if they can balance that right, that'll be insane. Or to make it better, this cooperative player which I've been wanting from Battlefield for ages. If it's zombies, if it's terrorist terrorist or if it's a campaign cooperative player. If they can take what they've got at the moment, what the good parts are and what the community are wanting. Like people are telling them what they want. Like this Battlefield campaign at the moment, if they can cover every aspect with great stories. And you can play with a friend on it, or a few friends. Like Conflict Desert Storm. If you don't know Conflict Desert Storm, you were basically four people. and Or if you didn't have four friends on, it was a squad of four in the game. And if two of you want, you, someone would control two people and the other person would control two. And you sort of told them to go here, there and everywhere. And you've talked and it's, really, it's strategy based. Maybe that's what they mean by strategy based. Just cooperative play. But I highly doubt because these rumours are saying they're trying to go into eSports. And Battlefield have just hired their own eSports. Well... That wasn't the official name, but they hired someone to look into competitive gaming for the Battlefield franchise. But I, I can't say it enough. I'm really excited. If they can balance all this, it'll be perfect. Battlefield 1 brought in new players. It's sort of not let go of the loyal ones. It was holding on just because, in my opinion, I know they lost a bit of interest. I started to at one point, but I got straight back into it with the new DLCs out. And there's loads of new games like Fortnite, Siege, Public Battlegrounds, New Call of Duty. And I know CSGO is starting to take off again. It's 
going to be insane. There's some bad things about Battlefield 1, like the massive spread of accuracy, where it's just all about body shots, and headshots don't really count. Maybe that's what something Battlefield need to look into and make sure that if you get a headshot, it's going to make a hell of a difference in killing someone faster and easier than hitting them in the body. So it improves your accuracy of the gun. But also, I can't really think of anything else I don't like about this Battlefield 1. It's my type of game, like just for casual, but they just need to bring something competitive in it, which will be sick. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell next to that subscribe button for notifications when I upload next. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, my truck side signing out.